Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first edition of Sat Saturday Morning Makes, hosted by Jill Norwood. Um, I was looking for a collab that I could kind of drop in on occasionally when I had the time. And so Susan uh, led me in the right direction and I've checked the collab out. Perfect. Um, like I said, for when I have time to um, craft. I did want to send out a little valentine, so this is what I have been working on. I decided as part of um, my craft organization, I wanted to use some of the dies that I had purchased and just never got around to using. So this is an older die. I'm sure everyone else has it. Uh, if you don't, it's a pretty good die. I um, really liked it. Really like it. It's um, from KS Craft, of course, and it's the little stand mixer. Which, by the way, is a real one is on my Christmas list. It has been for several years now. But um, So I hope the sun isn't too, too terrible. And you guys can see um, what I've done with the glitter paper in the back. They kind of bowed a little bit. And that may just be because of the temperature um, here in my craft room. But I had a hard time with these. So I don't make a whole lot of small shakers. And that's probably why I had never used the dye before, because I was kind of intimidated by it. Um, I don't have any regular acetate in my stash that's just clear. I need to get some. So what I did was I used one of the little simple stories, like little, I guess these are for mini albums or December dailies, things like that. But I keep them on hand to make mini pocket letters with. So I just grabbed one of these, cut it up, laid my foam on there, used um, art glitter glue and let them dry for a couple of days. Came in here to cut them out this morning and they had all uh, pulled right off of this plastic. So I don't know if it's this plastic. Again, the temperature might be an issue. It could be, you know, because they don't recommend using art glitter glue in extreme hot or cold. Um, and it's extremely cold. We don't have central heat or air, so uh, I did embellish these with some little puffy stickers I had in my stash. I don't have a lot of valentines, as I said in my previous video. Um, so these are just basically some doodle bug scraps I had, and I used the um, glitter paper with it. Um, this paper I cut, I don't know which direction we're going because my camera is in a different spot now. But I cut it um, in the wrong direction. So that's how rusty I am, but that's okay. I wanted to send out a little valentine to someone. I have all of the stuff. We're going to use this little um, Dollar Tree satchel. And we're going to make a cute little valentine. Since I have been out of the Happy Mail game, I've not really done anything. So this was my first go at the cute little mixer um, shaker. It's definitely cute. I'm not a fan of paper piecing, but this one wasn't too, too bad. Um, again, the only thing that held me up uh, was the actual um, need for proper acetate. So anyway, again, this uh, collab is hashtag sat morn makes. I will link that down in the description box below. I'll try to find the link to this die in the description box below if anybody who doesn't have it um, would like to check it out. It's a really cute die. Um, I could see doing a whole baking sweet treat theme uh, swap with these. So it's really cute for that reason. Next up, I'm going to use the cloche um, and see how well that turns out. Maybe we'll find some real acetate in this craft room. Not sure. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed my video. It's good to be back. And I will be back um, to filming a little bit on the weekends when it's too cold to go an Uber. So with that said, um, check out all of the wonderful uh, makers. There's all kinds of different artists and crafters that do this collab. So if you just uh, search the hashtag SatMornMakes, you can find everybody as well. All right. Happy Saturday, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next video. Much love.